6E classified contracts. These are just the opposite from my sheet, but let's take facts first to get anything we've done that so far. Um, under the set of contracts, it's like fact 2010 11 support staff. Um, one of the things that I wrote about in the core packet, probably the only thing I wrote about related to support staff, is that when our insurance increase is 10% or more, it take, if they have insurance, it takes a lot of their three and a half percent increase or all of it to pay for the insurance increase. So when you look through staff and you can see varying amounts of um, raises at that three and a half percent, think about the, the column right beside it that talks about whether they have insurance or not. So if you've got someone who makes nine eighty six an hour um, and they have eighty seven percent of their single insurance paid for them because they their dot their their hourly wage is say less than the ten or eleven or twelve dollars an hour, and then you take that ten, over ten percent increase in insurance, um, they're not going to get much then on their salary because most of the three and a half percent increase was eaten up um, by the insurance. And when you start looking at these, John and I had a lot of conversations really about these kind of accurate stories on both sides of the page because there are people who will, who will get a six cents an hour raise or nothing, but those people also have insurance and they're on the lower end of the per hour schedule and so it affects them very differently. But what we've typically done is the percent raise that we have for um, teachers that we negotiate is across the board. We do that with administrators and we do that again with classified staff. Um, and Last year we had the same discussion uh, because insurance ate up a lot of their increase. And believe me, after contracts were approved, I don't know about John, but I had a lot of conversation that came to me. A couple people very angry and insulted. And sat down and talked to them about, but this is what the total amount is. Here's what went to your insurance, so this is what's left to put on here. Well, that's stupid. That's an insult to get a six cent raise. I said, well, you got more than a six cent raise your raise happen to come in insurance. So if you want more hourly raise, you're going to have to give up insurance. But some of those conversations went better than others. You know, um, They understood it, but they didn't like it. And I, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying to you that you'll, you've looked at this already and probably felt like that same situation. But the district has a 3.5% increase, package increase. And that's, <coughs> that's what this reflects. So, um, but I would recommend to the <coughs> support staff salaries, contract salaries that are listed here. I'll move that we approve the salaries listed for 2010-11. Is there a second to that? Any, just, any more discussion? All those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. On the flip side of it, yes, the <coughs> staff. And one of the things that you noticed, if you looked at both of them, both both work, is that there's a lot more insurance paid for classified staff on Wallach the Auburn. And um, that has been historically something that's happened at Wallach the Auburn but a lot of classified staff um, receive insurance if they work a certain number of hours um, per week. And honestly, that's going to be a discussion for the initial board when we talk about negotiations for another year. That's going to be a, I think that's going to be a tough issue for you to, to work through will be salaries and or benefit packages for classified staff because they're far different really than our licensed staff are. Um, because we just approved, you just approved a benefit package tonight for insurance. It's identically the same for the licensed staff, but that's not true for the classified. Um, but again, the same discussion. There are people who have zero. Um, they get uh, full single insurance, and the increase ate their entire rate. Um, but single insurance is a huge benefit to an employee. 
And again, those are exactly the same as it was at that. My recommendation is that you approve the support staff and then the list of two administrative salaries are truly not um, principles, but it would be uh, under that fifth category would be um, the technology coordinator and who's full time and uh, Julie Meyer, the tech coordinator, who's quarter time. Thank you.